Hi everyone, it's Dr. Jeff from K. Harris Chiropractic and Wellness Center. And today I want to do a quick little overview um, looking at arthritis in the spine. So the most common type of arthritis that you'll see in the spine is going to be what's called osteoarthritis. And osteoarthritis is really like a wear and tear type of arthritis. And a lot of times wear and tear can be affected by posture, it can be affected by old injuries, um, different things that have happened in our life over time. Now if you look at these models, these models start to look at the different types of degeneration. So one of the specific things I'll look at to show you is about the discs. So if you've, this is what a normal disc looks like. You can see it's nice and big. You can see that all the vertebrae are nice and, nice and rounded. The corners are nice and straight here. Whereas you can see one of the beginning phases of degeneration right here, you can start to see how the disc space is getting smaller. But the bone still looks actually pretty good in there. Now, the phase two, when it starts getting a little more serious, you can see the disc space has gotten even smaller than it has before. However, you can also start to see it's becoming jagged. So those jagged are areas are what are called bone spurs or osteophytes, but you might've heard them as bone spurs before. It's just more advanced degeneration. And finally, a very farther degeneration where there's almost no more disc left and the bone's almost on bone. So we definitely don't wanna to get to this place. We definitely wanna be able to see if we can help our spine earlier in care versus later. Now, the most interesting thing when I start to look at wear and tear is that it's important to realize that everyone always starts to talk about how, you know, well, it's just because I'm getting older that I've got these problems. However, when I take an x-rays of someone and I'm looking at the x-ray report, it's very typical that you might see one or two areas of the spine having degeneration. So if you had this guy on top of here, you're like, oh, wow, like this one looks really good. But this one, you're starting to get some degeneration. You can see the disc is smaller. And the people can see that on the x-ray. So the question that I have then is if it's age is related to osteoarthritis or you just get the wear and tear because of, uh, because of age, then what's the difference in age between this bone in your back and this bone? Ah, the key is that there's no difference in age. They're the exact same age. So if it was only age that was causing it, we would expect all of these to be aging the exact same. However, advanced degeneration, when there's more degeneration on one area than anywhere else in the spine, it shows that there's been an alignment issue somewhere. So there's been some wear and tear parts. I explain it almost like if you were driving your car and your front passenger side car tire was misaligned, you can still continue to drive that car. And you might not even really notice because it might be a small misalignment. But after you've driven so many thousands of kilometers, you go in for an oil change and your mechanic says, you know what, this tire is really wearing out. Have you noticed that? And you go around and look at it and you're like, wow, yeah, that one's worn out a lot more than the rest of them. So the mechanic says, just, we'll just realign it, that's fine. So what they do is they get that tire realigned when the tires realigned, it all starts to balance again. Now all the tires will wear evenly, but it doesn't take the, the wear out of that tire that's already there. So that wear and tear is there. We can't take it away. Now that's also what's the important part about your spine. Wear and tear that's there is most, for most, in most cases, is there. So we want to, one, prevent it in the first place with proper spinal hygiene, with your exercise and yoga and chiropractic care to make sure you're in proper alignment. And secondly, to make sure we're checking your spine early enough to see if we can get to the point where we're more here, where the bones have not had these osteophytes or bone spurs and have the disc have a chance to heal versus getting, getting over here where we're already starting to see these jagged edges and bone spurs. So this is a quick little overview about how the spine works, but remember it's essential for your body to stay aligned, not only just to make sure that your spine is staying healthy as you age, to, in to be able to keep your mobility as you age, but to allow you to do your things like your workout or your exercise program or whatever you wanna do without your body breaking down. So that's this week's tip of the week. I hope it helps. Until next time, I'm Dr. Jeff.